Bold claim. I know. Welcome to the channel. I am Realistic and Objective, and we are going to talk today about some huge wealth that could be coming into your hands if you play your cards right, i.e. the absolute bottoms where no one is interested, and I'm going to explain why I feel that this is actually happening right now, and I think we have further downside to come in the next year or two. Sorry. But if you are still here, please make sure you are. And if you do like my content, make sure you do click that bell because I will probably hopefully save you a lot of wealth because people are getting wrecked left, right and center right now. So first thing I want to talk about is we could be seeing the next bull run actually happening in the future. I've been saying this for a while too. If you watch my prediction video, I say quite clearly, I don't think we're ready yet. I think the bear mark is going to come. And I've said it recently as well in other videos. I've been saying it on my Patreon. I've been saying it on learning crypto as a platform. I don't think adoption's here yet. I genuinely don't think it. I think the hype is there for adoption, but how many people utilize your devices to just spend and utilize cryptocurrency? It's not realistically. Store a wealth? Where? You know, are people really utilizing it peer to peer? No, that's a problem. And we do need to talk about that. And I think that is why I think it's going to come later. I think we're still in that building development stage. I think we're still in that opening feeler kind of thing where. I'll be brutally honest, I speak to people in the normal world and, you know, people ask me questions, what do I do for a living? And I mention what I do. I'm I'm an F1 fan. I see all the opposition to cryptocurrency. Oh, why are there all cryptocurrency sponsors on cars now? It's all just this, that, and the other. We're nowhere near ready yet. And it comes to the opening headline of the CNBC right before this article that I'm going to go into is we're currently in a mix of fear, war right that is a big big problem there's a big catalyst there that could create this reset what right we know that markets are hyped up and it's also via fear hype greed mm. fear Ooh, not good right so just be careful right so when we talk about this the next bull run could happen until end of you know won't happen until basically 2024 and i do feel that this is another situation of scarcity understanding development multi-chain all kinds of stuff that could be happening within the space and you got to remember here we were trying to get adoption here with ethereum and ethereum was not good let's be honest here ethereum very very expensive who wants to adopt that who wants to use that once the lightning network is up and running and fully functional we may well see some different kind of people coming to the market and let's be freaking honest with ourselves institutions are not going to be buying this at 40k 50k 60k everyone's going oh they're going to just buy and it's going to just go up to 100k no chance no chance anyways it's important to know this is important we're coming towards nearly two years of the last halving nearly two years the hype in my opinion is dying down and i do feel that the financial ecosystem we do need to talk about it in terms of the chat and analysis and i will is going to get a bit of a shock and I do think we are going to see some further downside movements because I don't feel the traffic is there. I don't feel the volume is there and people are getting fed up of losing money. And we will explain it. And this is why these 1,000x opportunities will probably come back onto your doorstep without you even realizing it's all about timing. Now, let's talk about it. Now, overall, I've put Polkadot on my chart here. This is like a, a random chart from a while back claiming that there could be a bottom here. Let's just reset this a little bit and let's talk about what is actually happening overall, right? Now, this is just one asset, a great asset that I really, really like. And we could actually see a $5 polka dot very, very easily, right? It could be a massive opportunity to create some wealth, but there's obviously other coins out there that will be even lower that will be really, really dumping over a period of time and therefore do well. Now, the one thing you need to think about, if you know the asset, you need to research it. Don't just buy it. Don't just dollar cost average. If we go into a world of pain, see what happens. See where the actual reversal is and when we start to tick back up. Because a lot of these assets that you're looking at that you may like and you may wonder if they're still developing, you need to see at the absolute bottom, are they developing? Are they still operational? Are they still functioning? And then you may well find some great gems. And they may be very, very obvious. Look at the last bull run, right? We had Cardano at three cents. We had VeChain at stupid price. We had the likes of Voyager at stupid prices. We had bloody loads of stuff. Literally Luna at like baby cents. It was like, what? And it they took off like a rocket of good fundamental coins with an operational utility. 
we'll probably get those days again. And everyone's like, no, no, we're never going to go to those prices. Trust me, we probably will. So, for example here, Polkadot could be a one that maybe not get you a thousand X, obviously, but it will probably give you some massive gains. And I mentioned this on my Patreon the other day. What if we are going to go down to like, say, $2? Example here. And we go back up to all-time high at some point. That is a huge amount of money and wealth. You could be staking the asset. You can be doing all kinds of bits and pieces, just utilizing it. The, the multi-chain, using other coins on the chain. We just don't know where the market's going to go. And this is where the problem is. And people will go, oh, it's bearish. Well, no, it's just, it's fact. It's, we don't know where it's going to go. And that's the thing. It's a highly volatile market. And we could still see some massive, massive losses in a lot of assets because they're not, They've not got the adoption, they've not got the utility yet. And it doesn't matter how good they are, price action will always follow the narrative or the sentiment of the market. And if you've got manipulation involved, i.e. people wanted to short the shit out of it, people want to just get the prices nice and low, you know, it does happen. And this is the most, in my opinion, the most manipulated market in the world. Why? Because it's unregulated. It's a wild west. And we see it all the time. Pump a dump scam, shillers, all kinds. We can go on and on and on, right? But let's talk about the main catalyst of this, right? Let's talk about it. So in terms of opportunity, I've already kind of said like, you know, we could be actually going down to $500 billion, which is like an absolutely mental claim, but it is a level. It's not a prediction, it's a level. And this is the one thing that annoys me. People are like, oh, well, you're so bearish. Why are you pinpointing areas? Well, this is the thing. The last bear market we had, we did not expect it to go where it did. The last bear market, we went all the way down to like 80 billion from 800 literally what the hell it was mental and even people back in those days were like oh we're never going to go below a certain price of ethereum or bitcoin or litecoin or xrp whatever it did and we will probably see us go all the way back down to this point here now some people may think well that's mental but realistically we've got to look at a few levels the most obvious level to look at is obviously the previous all-time high roughly 756 and got to remember as i said before look at where we went to you know this is not a kind of me just trying to get clouds here i'm just stating the obvious here you know we went down 89 percent you know realistically could we be seeing a repeat of that feat well maybe and we could actually be going lower than that if it's going to go down roughly a carbon copy of the last one, give or take, we're looking about $315, $320 billion. Is it a possibility? Yeah, of course it is. It's like anything. It's all probability. But for me, realistically, I don't think we're out of the woods at all, but I think this is where the opportunities are. So if we are going to see low, low levels, and this is the main caveat of this video, you need to stick with it. You need to stick with the course. You need to keep buying good solid asset when you feel the value is there value proposition has to be good risk reward now as i've said i've just used an example of polka dot there's thousands of assets here that could actually in the next bull cycle do very very well especially if we are going to start going down to these low levels you're going to start noticing some very very good obvious projects at great prices and you know what most of the people most of the hype boys won't be interested but you you are a fan of the fundamentals. You've done your research. You've understood exactly what you are doing. And you may well have an opportunity to change your life because you've found something that no one's really looking at, but it's a kind of, it's in, it's in plain sight. It's an obvious kind of asset. You may well find a very, very good top asset, what was been in the top 20, top 30, top 50 in a bull market, still developing, still growing, becomes really undervalued and then may well just absolutely shoot back up just because sentiment has returned i.e bitcoin will do well the total market starts trending people start coming in and guess what those shillers those moon boys those new people in the market will start again pumping your bags most of the money is made in market via a catalyst via a black swan event via pain hurt war recessions fallout collapse, everything right we've seen it before we'll see it again right so i know it's brutally honest but realistically we've got to play the facts here you may well think that your coin is absolutely brilliant but the whole market may disagree with you because the whole market is going down and we're not just talking here about crypto we're talking here about the entire markets look down here you know that is literally you know last night's playouts right 
they're not futures that is literally it and the one big telling sign is the fact that gold is starting to go up now we are starting to see people panic people are moving their wealth around and if i quickly go on to seeking alpha you'll see the futures charts here very very clearly and the futures will not be looking very good right now as you can probably see so we're down 817 points on the dow jones the s p is down 107 that's quite a lot for the s p and then look at the nasdaq 3.22 percent if people are bullish right now be sidelines even though i do say when the price is low be bullish but we're in mass uncertainty if you're going all in on bitcoin if you're going all in on an altcoin right now I'd expect some pain because I don't think we're done yet. And when we're looking at the overall structure, we've got this level here. We're gonna we're probably going to address that level very, very simply. We're going to be very, very careful what we do with our funds. And for me, looking at this, you know, I've mentioned before in previous videos, you know, recently, that we could actually be seeing an 8K Bitcoin, which is, I know it's like a bold claim, but that's just a level to look out for a future reference. You just don't know. But I do feel 20K will probably happen at some point. The next swing down. If we're talking about swings here and we're going to do another drop down to these levels and then we pull back up and we do one more swing. I've said it before on my Twitter. Make sure you follow me. We probably are going to see the total market cap go nearly towards or maybe below $1 trillion. That's mental. That could be the swing that takes us there. So... 100,000 times your money, basically, or 1,000x, or whatever you want to disclaim it as. The lower we go, the more opportunity you've got to make wealth. Now, you've got to plan for it. Now, they're not predictions. They're just levels. If we go there, you should know exactly what to do. You should know how to research your coin. You should know what to look for in tokenomics. You should know this. If you don't, go to Learning Crypto. Check out my links below. But the fundamentals are clear. Crypto is here to stay. I'm a long-term bull right the problem is the market and the sentiment and the fear and greed is not in in line yet i don't think adoption is here i think institutions are waiting i think there's a lot of people waiting for regulation as well and the war is just kind of a bit of an unsettling factor but realistically though before this all kicked off the markets were already coming down we're talking here the total market gap from you know the 9th of november being the top it's not the catalyst for why the prices are low. We're already on our way. We're in a downtrend. It's just another catalyst to kick it down the road a bit further, to kick the can, essentially. So, you can make money off it. Don't short the market. Just buy low. With spot. Don't have to leverage anything. Find good assets. Wait for the prices to come in and start accumulating. Because if they're good and they're going to stay around and your research on point, you may well change your life. And that is how, boys and girls you get massive gains in the market. Not buying donkey finance or sausage coin or titty balloony coin or whatever, I don't know, at these tops. No, 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 no. When we're low. See you later.